Hi everyone, my name's Mad Matt Lugos and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. So, last time we continued our kind of escape from the wolves as well as some infected. And by the end we came to the revelation, or learned, well, there were two revelations I suppose, at least for the characters. Dina finally learned about Ellie's immunity fully this time, she didn't think it was a joke this time. Um, and... Dina also revealed that she thinks that she's pregnant which really um, uh, throws the cat amongst the pigeons right because in multiple ways uh, you know just in terms of our own physical safety it really means she can't come along with us in places of physical danger we're going to have to find a way of leaving her in a safe place I feel because you know, we owe it to her. We owe her. We owe it to her. The potential child she's carrying. And we, I guess, we owe it to Jesse as well. If it's if it is his child, which I presume it is. Um. So that complicates things in that sense. It obviously complicates things for Ellie because they're obviously in like a newly discovered relationship, and they're they're letting all these feelings they have for each other flourish. And this is going to put doubts in the mind of definitely of Ellie probably of Dina as well because if they do get back to Jackson you know Jesse's the father so he's going to want to be involved will that rekindle old feelings between him and Dina you know so that definitely makes Ellie feel a bit will make you would make anyone feel strange right regardless of kind of the dynamics of the of you know different sexualities and stuff like that in a situation of an unexpected child and yeah so and then what does ellie want to prioritize right does she want to prioritize dina's life and the life of her child or does she prioritize her own revenge and of course we still we promised maria we'd go find tommy so you know we're really caught in a in a bit of a mess here because Ellie cannot prioritize or shouldn't prioritize vengeance over the lives of the, her lo current loved ones, right? But we, we also have to get Tommy back. So it feels like we should find somewhere for Dina to hide, but nowhere's going to be safe here because it's wolf and ser um, scar territory. Maybe for a week, if we could have enough food and make sure it's a quiet place that they, that they don't explore and then we could go and find Tommy and then just leave without um, getting our revenge but I don't think Ellie's going to let this go but yeah it's definitely thrown uh, a spanner in the works so we need to have a look got a lot of glass here to uh, potentially smash so I think we're looking to hunker down for the night, but as we already know, Ellie is not sleeping. I wonder how many people die in this play. <laughs> uh, <laughs> probably no one. An American tragedy, Cassandra. Uh, we do have a journal entry to read, actually, don't we? Let's do some catching up. Don't think it's going to be much more. Much more. I called them the wrong thing at the end of that last episode, didn't I? I called them a scrambler. It's a shambler. How are their new infected? Well, that's our only new page, right? So, yeah. We've got some new cards. Uh, oh, there's only there's only two. Let's let's uh, check them out. Dr. Daniela Starr, home planet Earth, lots of brains allied with the Future Alliance. Recruited by Spark Century 22 out of Titan's best science academy, brilliant Daniela Starr was assigned to the Ion Engine development team under the watchful eye of her colleagues. She came up with plans that exceeded everyone's wildest expectations. When she learned who su her superiors planned to use her technology for energy weapons, she scuttled her research and fled to Ganymede. Now under the protection of the future alliance, she is on the verge of developing mankind's first faster than light vessel, a hero. Kim Kimimela? Kimimela. Real name Kimimela Green. 
Society of Champions. After her family lost their house to greedy developers, young scientist Kimi Mallow Green's public protests fell on deaf ears. Frustrated, she turned her research in animal behavior into a means of political action. Many late nights at the lab culminated in a device that allows her to telepathically communicate with animals. Now, as a member of the Society of Champions, Kimamella brings her animal allies to places around the world where civil strife and avarice threaten to force people from their homes. And when evildoers don't listen to her, she lets her animals do the talking. Interesting. So we've not got much more in the uh, in the old journal. Don't think there's anything in these bits, in these smashable bits. Yeah, we're gonna have to head up to the gantry. Oh, we need a key. Got a bathroom here. No infected, please. Some more rags, some pills, very nice. Some blades, nothing in the stalls. Right, let's head upstairs. One thing I've been meaning to bring up for ages is I, I wonder if, oh, I just, the you know the opening screen of the game from the menus with the boat moored at, sort of on that derelict looking boat? I wonder what significance that has, whether that has something to do with what Joel did, that boat. Pregnant. Fucking pregnant. How could you keep something like that? Maybe she just wasn't sure. Got a note here. Maybe someone else was staying here. September 4th. 4th of September, me, Perez, Green and Adams made it to the listening post two days ago and so far so good. WLF haven't come looking here yet. The city's lost to the wolves. We escaped headquarters out of sheer luck and good timing. Torres, Ward and the others are probably dead camping here. Grateful to be alive for now. 6th of the 6th of September. Can't sleep. Burning up with a fever. No medicine. Looked everywhere. We don't have anything except the uniforms on our backs. No contact from anyone on the radio either. How many of us made it out? 7th of September. Still feverish. Don't have any big cuts, so probably not an infection. The others are waiting until nightfall. Then making a run to the hospital to get medicine for me. And supplies for wherever we're going next. They're good guys. 10th of September. Shouldn't be taking this long. So these were soldiers okay. on the run. This note's old. Yeah. Still, better be careful. Yeah, this guy might have died here. And he might have been infected. I realise you turn from an infection probably a lot quicker than, than he's describing. I don't think there's any sign of a, of like a crusty old skeleton, right? So he might have turned. Maybe it takes a bit later if maybe if it's just like a blood on blood infection. I don't think so. I'm, I think it's pretty consistent regardless of how you get infected, because. Ellie's original infection was from fingernails, right? Could be wrong. Okay, we've got some something to craft. Molotovs, most likely. Yeah, let's get it. Oh, got enough for some pills. Better healing or better max health. I suppose there's not much difference. But we are getting a fair, a pretty hefty amount of pills though, so I'm wondering if we're going to be able to get enough to max this stuff out. Let's do it. Let's get the improved health kits. It's a similar sort of thing to the max health in a way. Might regret that, but whatever. Okay, that looks like the way forward. Employees only, so maybe this is like a staff room.
Nothing. There's not much in here. This is the projector room. Maybe a workbench. Not that we've got enough uh, nuts and bolts anyway. Very nice. Got another note here. Oh, hello. Okay, another note from this soldier, perhaps. Yeah, thirteenth of September. I don't think they're coming back. No, they're not coming back. Either got ambushed or they ditched me. Not my fault I got sick. At least the fever's gone. But now I'm fucking starving. Can probably raid the buildings nearby for food. Then see if I can raise someone on the radio. 15th of September. Constant rain means I at least won't die of thirst. Unfortunately, it keeps making the electricity conk out all the time. Makes it kind of hard to use the radio. Not like anyone's listening... And not like anyone's answering anyway. The wolves can't have hit all the federal listening posts. No way. Need to keep trying. 16th of September. Dreamt they were laughing as I slowly bled out from a gut shot. Woke up an hour ago still shaking. Need a cigarette. You think there'd be a pack or two stashed somewhere in a fucking theatre, but apparently not this one. 16th, uh, 19th of September. Power went out again. Gonna head to the roof and see if I can get it back on. So we went to the roof, probably got shot or attacked by infected there. Why are there so many bottles here? Hmm. Looks like we can pick up that one on the top. Are you wanting us to smash something? That's the impression I'm getting. This door's barricaded. Oh, hello. Beyond. Another hero. There's so many heroes. Real name, Imani Graves. After a near-death experience that left her in a coma for two weeks, this seasoned detective found that she could cross from our world to the spirit world, allowing her to communicate with the dead now known as beyond she splits her time between solving murder investigations and serving as a spiritual medium for grieving families seeking closure however her forays into the spirit world are clearly hastening her demise she looks considerably older than her 35 years how much longer does she have a hero interesting okay looks like we need to Go and check out that where that cable goes from the staff room. They were just bottles. Great. Oh, cool. We got our hood up. She's still pouting. Ellie, come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Got a bad feeling about this. No jump scares, please, game. There he is. 
You got electrocuted, right? Damn. You get fried? Guess you weren't much of an electrician. Not too compassionate, are we, Ellie? Got it. Isn't this going to be like a giant warning sign for these people? Aren't like the, the lights outside the theater gonna come on? No, it doesn't look like it. Can't close the window. Okay, we're gonna catch some sort of message here. Keys. All right. Keys to the theater. Keys to the theater. Stupid door. Put me on edge. <laughs> I mean, isn't someone going to notice all these lights, dude? Okay, be ready, Al. Be ready. All right. Certainly would. Lots of old sound equipment. No supplies, though. <sighs> Spooky. <sighs> no way. Oh. <laughs> Guitars everywhere. Probably a bad idea, though. Oh, come on, go play it for Dina. Cheer her up. <sighs> well, if this game, if these games teach you anything. It's uh, that you need to enjoy the moments while you have them because they will be fleeting. Your plans, your expectations likely won't happen and likely won't be good. So moments like this, you need to savour.
all that flash black. No way. No way. This doesn't sound like so. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Yeah. All right, come on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm gonna start guessing. You want to spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Is it a convertible? You're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. Why wouldn't you call it just a bunch of kittens? <laughs> I don't know what... It's called a litter. That's so dumb. It's not a litter of kittens. Okay, okay. Hot air balloon. More uh. walking, less talking. Man, they haven't... I mean, this is two years after they got to Jackson, so I guess she's 16 at this point. Mind your step. I got it. Oops. <laughs> He's teaching her how to swim. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> you should see your face right now. What am I drowned? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. See what happens. <laughs> this way. You're the worst. Oh, Ellie can swim now. Thankfully. Your swimming's getting better. Remember now, don't just flail about. You got the water with your whole arm. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Hey, come here. Take a look at this. You see that deer over there? Where? You see it? Just through there. Look. Yeah. I see it. Yeah. Looks like. <laughs> you had to see that coming. Oh. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. Cannonball. You're gonna need to dive under here. And take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. The dreaded underwater sections. No one ever likes these in games, do they? I've never been too bothered about them, but. You know, except for a game like Abzu or something. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. Point still stands. Got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? So we're gonna get underwater infected or something, maybe? Is it a new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. Here. 
Okay. Fuck it. I'm done guessing. Well, good. But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. Is it, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. <laughs> Why would he bring you all the way out here for that, Ellie? You were right with your first guess, it seems. Holy shit, Joel. We're here. <laughs> oh my god, it is a dinosaur! And it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. Oh, it's a motherfucking dinosaur. Still doesn't like the language. <laughs> Hey, you know, she's from the East Coast, you know? They're from the East Coast swear a lot, right? <laughs> Joel's from Texas, he's a bit more conservative. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. Very much so. Can we climb it? No way. <laughs> That's awesome. Look at me! I'm on a motherfucking dinosaur! Don't think this water's deep enough to jump off, but... Is it? Ah! Oh. <laughs> Didn't think that was deep enough. But... But they look so similar to the the end of the first game, even though this is two years like afterwards. Science and history. How did you find this place? <laughs> Maria, she uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. What's this? Uh, it's a book. It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. Whoa, we still got health kits and molotovs. We're going to run into some impacted. Wow, look at all this. I imagine we'll be able to go back to this. But let's read it now with its context. Tommy and Joel on the horses. Farming rotation blows. I don't get why people ask for this assignment. Note to self. Talk to Ma Maria about how early I can sign up for patrol training. Dina and I found this cool old campground today. She said kids used to go there in the summers for fun. We found all these art supplies. She cut coloured paper and made some crowns for us while it rained outside. It was a good day. Joel said he's taking me <clears throat> on a camping trip next week for my birthday. He found something he says I'll love. He's acting very proud of himself. Smug old fogey. Cat sat next to me at movie night. Our elbows kept touching. I think she was doing it on purpose. Maybe not. Probably not. Nina made me a crown for my birthday. She went back to that camp and got all this paper. It's pretty great. Then she did a quick sketch of the T-Rex. You want to try it on? I do not. <laughs> Just like Jurassic Park. Some raptors. Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D. Dionanicus. 
Pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the technical name is Dinonychus. I know very little about dinosaurs. Offices back here. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. <laughs> oh, it's for you. Very funny. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is great because we're actually getting to see, getting to see Ellie get to be a kid, right? Even though she's 16 here, this is probably the most spiritual freedom she would have had in her whole life, right? Someone to protect her while she gets to be a bit more... A bit more free. <laughs> Triceratops, my favourite. Stegosaurus. Diplodocus. Tiny head. <laughs> Joel, look! That is a hat on a dinosaur. It's called a hatosaur. Triceratops means three horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. Oh, Brachiosaurus. Triceratops. This is one I recognize. Me too, Joel. Me too. So it feels like we're in summer, so I guess Joel would, would be keeping his hair short at this point. Can we get our heart back? Oh, no. Whoa. This one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. Oh, <laughs> good one. <laughs> She's so defensive. Reminds me of me, to be fair. Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys said, that's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, movie night. Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. Dimetrodon. Dimetrodon. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. What's an apex predator? The most badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? You could probably regard Joel as one of them, to be fair. <laughs> Let's have a look at these boys back oh here. God. Sounds like a pill. <laughs> I think I think it would be more like Demetrodon, right? Demet yeah, I don't know. Overraptor. Ooh, that's a fifty cent word. Hey, we got another hat. Beautiful. Every time I see a little shine, I think it's a button prompt. Over Raptor. Whoa, this one looks like a bird. Yeah. Well, actually, paleontologists believe the birds were descended from dinosaurs. Wow. 
Excuse me, Mr. Professor. I happen to know a thing or two. From a movie. <laughs> Keep going. Look how thick this one's skull is. Just like me. Kinda looks like Tommy. <laughs> I'm telling him you said that. Please don't. Get you in the right light. Boom. Tommy. I was uh, kind of of the belief that they'd probably do something like this for DLC, but I mean, they might still do extra ones, but at least we get to see Joel again. In good company, at least. Not after we've been arguing. Uh, maybe we'll get a bit more peace in this episode. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. <laughs> well, at least he's talking about her frequently now. Come on, Joel. Looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Guess this has symbolic meaning as well, as the humans are likely going extinct from cordyceps. Extinction. It's still not fully understood what caused the extinction of the dinosaurs. However, most scientists agree that it was likely triggered by a large asteroid hitting the Yakutan Peninsula in Mexico over 65 million years ago. An estimated, uh, what, 38 to 50 MI in diameter. Uh, Chickalub impactor created the hole 62 million wide, 90 million deep in the air. Hmm. Oh, we've got a little theatre here. Did you know this was here? He probably scouted it. You don't like it. Um, we can head back. Yeah. Oh, shut up. Wow. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <clears throat> <laughs> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh... You just have a stroke? <laughs> My Mercury, very Venus, Mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Various different space missions. Hey, Joel, guess what the first animal to go to space was? I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gum girl, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super fly? What? No. A shuttle. And kids always love to do that to you as well. It's always a good thing to say something kind of deliberately incorrect and kids love to correct you on stuff like that. Space stations, moon buggy, the lunar rover. Oh, fuck yeah. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Huh. <laughs> Hang on. Just the real one. 
Well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> Sharp you are, Ellie. Got the evolution of various spacesuits. Space, you're gonna need a helmet. Oh, right. What was I thinking? <clears throat> I mean, they did really well in Uncharted 4 with the flashbacks, right? They always timed them really well, and they gave it gave a lot of weight to the relationship between between the Drakes, right? And we already have this relationship established, but we we never got to see them together in peace, right? So this is really important. Right, which helmet do I like? Oh, come on, why isn't that one orange? Oh, I like that one. That's like a Mysterio helmet. <laughs> okay, we've got to pick one of these three. I think I'm going for the middle one. Yeah, that looks comfier. It's got an orange interior as well. Ginger represent. How does it smell in there? Like space. And dust. Gemini. Let's do After it. You. Watch your head. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What the heck? Hey, where's your helmet, Joel? Wow. Wow. As you look at all these buttons. Oh, it's so badass. <laughs> Man. Could you imagine just... <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. <laughs> Take it. <laughs> You're welcome, kiddo. <laughs> what do 
you say we uh, keep looking around, huh? Yeah, I guess. Da Ellie. More museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Oh no. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Okay, so he, he checks all this out, but there's gonna be infected. Which building I oh, mean that one. Alright, bombs away. Got a Get health bar. No. Hey, whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo. <laughs> nice. Maybe it was an oxygen bar. We never got to actually play as Ellie with Joel as the companion, did we? We played as Ellie, but not with Joel as the companion. 100% infected in here. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. <laughs> All right, Ellie. All right. Oh. Nope. There. Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll... I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. I killed for them. Ooh. Stay strong, buddy. Wolf pack. That's a bit of a metaphor for upcoming sequences. This guy needed a hug. Yeah. The four soldiers at the gate the last one cried. Various birds. Oh, shit. The woman we tortured choked on her own blood.
But no movement just yet. <laughs> the stragglers who snuck into camp. They just wanted food. Come on, fucker. The kid who ran into the blast. I couldn't stop him. Five bullets, one brick. There is no light. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed a part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it'll be worth it. Now we've disbanded, with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all of the cruelty and savagery. These memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person I've become. Yeah. I mean, very much there's that argument, isn't there, about the people who survive in a world like this aren't people you want to know. You know what I mean? Good people don't survive in this kind of world because good people try and help each other, don't want to kill each other. So all that you get left with, uh, the worst, is that a real wolf? Is that a real wolf? <laughs> Looks pretty real. animals the eyes the way the eyes shone that's what got me then Whew. Ammo though. Maybe it's a bait and switch. Liars. So who is this talking about? Jelly? I'm in here. Joel. Who was it? It's just some animal. Fireflies, liars. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. Seattle, day two. So I guess they've both slept fairly separately. Yeah, she fell asleep in the in the theatre. Oh god, they're back on the prowl, dude. Or maybe uh, uh, Dean is messing with the radio.
Well, I've just got a, a pretty big chunk here. I wonder if we can go back to... No. Can't go back to the early stuff. It must be a whole separate journal. wonder if we'll get to see that at some point. Okay, guys, we will read this diary entry. I like reading Ellie's as it is. What do I do here? How do I... We just started. I shouldn't have said that to her. She's going to treat me differently now. I know it. I wish my mask didn't fucking break. When did she figure out she was pregnant? Where we... Where were we a couple weeks ago? Boise? I remember her throwing up in Kennewick. This is too much. It's all, it all fucking makes sense. The throwing up, how tired she's been. What the fuck, Dina? Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you trust me? But did you trust her? What should I do? It's too late to turn back. Just gotta end this thing as quickly as possible. I suppose. Okay guys, I'll leave that episode there. That's like a nice little self-contained flashback. A bit more peaceful. Uh, got to see Joel again, which was nice. Uh, got to see what Ellie got for what would have been, I believe, her 16th birthday, right? Trip to the museum, the space museum, to the dinosaur exhibit. Um, and we got to see her being a bit more of a kid, a bit freer, a bit more, you know, care just carefree. Less worried about death, survival, and all that, all that stuff. So, you know. Yeah, very nice. So before things get dark again, we'll end this one here. I'm glad, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Leave me a thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. Okay, I'll see you next time.